Greetings, I'm Dick Swanson, University of Minnesota. And I'm Tom Shermack, Colorado State University. We are uh, two of Barrett Kohler authors. We've written uh, previous books uh, for Barrett Kohler, and now we have a new book coming out. In fact, I have the spring 2013 edition of the uh, Barrett Kohler books. Let me just, uh, I don't seem to see our I, book in here, Tom. I don't Tom. see it in there either. Oh, you know why? It's coming out, summer. 2013. So we don't even have the cover art yet for our book and the uh, title of course as you can see is Theory Building in Applied Disciplines. You want to say a few things about this Tom? Sure. Uh, theory, theory Building in Applied Disciplines is a very unique book and in fact there is no rival book. And what we've done is we've tried to fill the gap of making theory building accessible and we've written a one-of-a-kind book on a method, a five-phase method for how to build a theory. A theory describes a realm of knowledge and how it works, whereas an applied discipline takes a, a field that has a body of knowledge as well as practice. Otherwise, that field has a structured body of knowledge and also out in the world, the real world, operating world, there are practitioners that practice that realm. So theory building in applied discipline, that's the focus of the book. In addition, uh, we use a lot of examples to show that most theory building work remains in kind of a conceptual phase. A lot of people have written books or, or hypothesized about relationships. What, what we're arguing is that theory needs to be much more. Theory has to take an idea, move it into the real world, describe how it will be measured, how we'll assess if it's accurate or not. And then eventually it has to become useful in practice. So theory building is much bigger than just a new idea. And so our book, which takes a rather complex uh, uh, field of theory building, presents a rather straightforward and simple presentation to help people build theory in applied disciplines. Almost every academic field, almost every academic field in university is really an applied discipline where that body of knowledge is being studied ultimately so that it can be put into practice. And we're talking about everything from medicine to management to nursing to uh, uh, computer applications. And you can just go down the line. And so what's happened is that this constant dilemma of connecting up the body of knowledge, the theory, if you will, or the hypotheses uh, that are float around, they're not really theories, but hypotheses and speculations and intellectualizations of the field and what really goes on in practice. That can be bridged through theory building and applied disciplines because uh, we require that we have a, a different uh, party of uh, participants in this process of theory building and applied disciplines. You want to say a few things about that, Tom? Yeah, we, we believe uh, pretty, pretty strongly that uh, practitioners and academics really have to work together. In applied disciplines, uh, neither, neither side of that spectrum can exist 100% uh, that way. In, in fact, take a, uh, an area like nursing, 100% I mean, practice misses the boat. 100% research misses the boat. So this relationship is, is actually the critical driver for, for theory building in any applied discipline. And Tom mentioned earlier that's, that a whole lot of the literature around theory isn't really uh, discussing theory. It's really talking about the conceptualization phase of theory building, uh, the initial idea. And so building that idea and ultimately verifying it in practice and modifying it in practice uh, and getting information from practice to ultimately to construct a, a complete and whole theory is part of this, this five phase journey that we're talking about. This, this five phases, tell me about that, Tom. Are they uh, sequential steps or, I mean, what is that? What's unique about uh, the five phase methodology that we're, what we're dealing with here is that um, you can really jump in almost anywhere. And so our methodology really makes room for theories to grow out of practice. So in fact, we have a lot of insights. The practitioner knowledge is very valuable in theory building. 
So we can accommodate different, different jumping in points or different jumping off points for where theory building really starts. We often think about it, it starts in academia and thinking and theorizing, but equally viable, sometimes maybe even more insightful, are the insights that come from practitioners working in the field. Yeah, a lot of the original ahas, when you think about uh, new theories that, that enter into applied disciplines, a lot of them actually come out of practice. Some, some thoughtful practitioner has uh, put one and one together, they've come up with an idea of two, and they now uh, begin to apply that in their work. Scholars may take uh, recognition of this and begin to then uh, look at this at a, from a more complete uh, 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 level and description level and then back to practice again. This, this whole process uh, in, in applied disciplines is, uh, is an interesting, uh, uh, I wanted to use the word journey, but we, we've outlawed <laughs> the word journey, haven't we? We have. We've outlawed we that have. word. Okay. But it's an, it, it is a very interesting commitment to go along. And uh, we know and we acknowledge in the book that, that because you're in an applied discipline, the fact of the matter is that that practice keeps changing, the variables in that practice keep changing. And so uh, there's a, a continuous refinement of theories uh, so that they continue to fit the world as it exists now. And what may have it worked 15 years ago may not work today. So uh, we, we know that uh, more people could be uh, engaged in the theory building process than presently are. We know that uh, almost all applied disciplines have uh, a definite void and need for theory building in their disciplines. And we've written a book that we hope will uh, be useful to many disciplines. Uh, maybe you have some uh, kind of concluding thoughts about the book, Tom. Certainly. So whatever discipline you're working in, uh, we assume it's an applied discipline. So if you're in management, nursing, communications, any of these, human resource development, we hope you'll consider picking up this book. We've tried to write it with an emphasis that you can pick it up and actually start using it. And in fact, our concluding chapter gives um, three clear ways to get started in theory building work. So um, we, we also acknowledge that theory building is, is perhaps one of the most complex activities we can engage in, whether you're a practitioner or scholar side of the spectrum. So if you use our book and if it works, we want to hear from you. If you use our book and it doesn't work, we want to hear from you because this uh, theory building about theory building is also going to be an ongoing refinement and clarification process. Hey, we hope you enjoy the book. Thank you. Thank you.